Now, I've always been um, a big fan of digestive enzymes, particularly where sluggish digestion is an issue. Now, certainly they can be highly beneficial for dogs in certain situations, but actually are digestive enzymes helpful or could they be possible leading to more harm than good over the long term? So today I wanted to share with you something that I feel is much more important than just using digestive enzymes and why this needs to be addressed instead of just jumping to that bottle of enzymes for help. So stay tuned to learn more. Hi there, Lyndall Pynchon, canine naturopath from Canine Vitality, and welcome to my channel, Happy, Happy Healthy Dogs, where it's my passion to help you help your dog live a longer, healthier life naturally. Thank you again for being here. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to be um, notified by clicking on the little bell, get notified of all my upcoming videos. So thank you again for being here. Now, um, how healthy is your dog's gut? Now, chances are that if they've been exposed to any sort of processed foods, to any sort of chemicals, particularly those flea tick and worming um, products, vaccinations of any kind, medications or any sort of stress, that this has probably at the minimum had an, some sort of a negative impact on their gut health. And of course, it makes sense that if this is the case, particularly if your dog has obvious symptoms, that we want to try and work to heal and rebalance things to help bring uh, not only your dog's gut health um, but their overall health back in check. Now remember that gut health governs your whole dog's um, health so working on keeping this healthy is uh, going to have a positive impact all around. Now when it comes to gut health however one of the really common supplements that might be recommended for your dog are digestive enzymes. Now most likely these have been recommended to help increase the level of your dog's naturally occurring enzymes so as to improve overall digestion and absorption um, absorption of nutrients but are these always needed and is there something underlying this that we really need to be looking at instead well although i certainly do prescribe digestive enzymes as a general rule it's definitely not my first recommendation with dealing when dealing with any sort of gut health and i'll only recommend them for short periods of time when i do prescribe them now what if i told you for the great majority of dogs unless they've got a specific enzyme deficiency disease like epi they actually have sufficient levels of enzymes all that they need right through their life to help break down and utilize the foods that they eat. Now, what if I also told you that it's not about how much or how many enzymes they produce, but more about the level of toxins in their digestive system that can actually be blocking the function of important enzyme producing organs, such as the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder. Now, most of you know how I talk a lot about leaky gut syndrome and the damage that occurs to the intestinal villi. Now villi are finger-like projections in the small intestine that help absorb nutrients from your dog's food um, and then they are passed from there through into the bloodstream so they can be taken to where they're needed most in your dog's body. Now damaged and congested villi means that many toxins that I mentioned earlier about with processed foods etc can be allowed to pass into the body and start building up in organs such as the liver, pancreas, gallbladder and bile and pancreatic ducts. So although your dog might actually be producing plenty of enzymes and other digestive juices, these organs become so congested that they just cannot function normally. Now, one example here is the production of bile. Now, bile is produced by your dog's liver and is stored in their gallbladder. Now, it travels via a bile duct or a tube into the small intestine to help break down fat. Now, if the liver and gallbladder becomes congested from any sort of toxins, this is gonna make that bile fluid really thick and sticky, which will make it stick to the walls of the bile ducts and slow down the function of liver and pancreas. Now, this in turn actually means that the right amount of both bile and other enzymes just cannot be released into the small intestine where they're absolutely needed. The result is the appearance of needing additional enzymes when in reality it's really that these organs have, are just congested with toxins which have, have slowed that whole process down. 
So rather than going straight to your digestive enzymes, my initial working gut health will always involve using herbs to help gently break down and cleanse toxins in uh, the digestive system, specifically liver, that will help break down a lot of that thick sludgy bile, which will then free up all those organs to bring them back to normal function. Now, some of my favorite herbs for this include gentian, globe artichoke, dandelion root, barberry, and fenugreek. Now these are herbs I use all the time to help stimulate the flow of bile and thin it out to help it flow more easily as well as just generally detoxing the liver and digestive system. And as I said earlier, while there are definitely times that I do prescribe digestive enzymes and I find them highly beneficial, I always like to do this prior to that um, and then I can work out if I actually do need to give digestive enzymes as, at all because maybe I've sorted the problem out. So the short-term use of digestive en enzymes can be really helpful, but we definitely don't want your dog on long-term digestive enzymes because this is going to make your dog's body more reliant on, on these products rather than um, really encouraging the body to do what it was designed to do in the beginning, and that is that natural process of um, enzyme production. So guys, I hope you found this short video helpful. If you've got a dog that's currently suffering from some sort of digestive issue, maybe you think they need enzymes or maybe there's something else going on, then don't forget to feel free to reach out to me. Please leave a comments, uh, comment in the section, comment section below or you can contact me. All my details are always left in the description box. If you did enjoy, today, enjoy today's video, guys, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more video content. I am enjoying producing these videos at the moment and I'm hoping that you do find them of some benefit. Okay guys, well I hope uh, you have a great day. I will talk to you again in another video very soon, but until then, have a good one and we'll, see, we'll talk soon. Bye for now.